Hello again and welcome back to Electric TV. I'm Dominic Geritano. The electrical grid, all half a billion miles of it, is in need of some attention. Much of it was built in the 60s, so not only is it old, there's just not enough of it. So because of the sheer age and lack of capacity, the electrical grid is finally starting to get some serious attention. Thousands of miles of transmission line work is on the horizon, and smart grid projects totaling well over $150 billion will become a reality by the end of this decade. All of this is certainly not lost on the NECA IBEW team, the reigning market share leaders in this huge industry, supplying the skilled manpower necessary to meet the demands of the future has prompted the NECA IBEW team to develop a comprehensive training curriculum in keeping with the times. This is David Garland and Roderick Williams, two third-year apprentices here at CellCat, the Southeastern Line Constructors Apprenticeship Training Facility outside Atlanta. They are two of more than 4,000 outside line apprentices learning the trade at this and eight more similar facilities from coast to coast. Part of the behind the scenes work the NECA IBEW team has done to grow its position in the market is by continuing to improve its already world class training. One significant way is by delivering information with the click of a mouse. Blended Learning is a recent online and computer driven curriculum that gets the most out of lineman training for apprentices and instructors alike. This program allows men and women learning the trade to study at their own pace anytime any place. Have questions? Their instructor is only an email away. The technology is awesome. It's great. Uh, uh, being able to get on the computer at your own pace and having questions. If you say you do have a question working on the computer system, the blended learning system, uh, you can always email your instructor. And he's always prepared for something like this. He sees, I mean, he's got his, he's got his computer too, and he sees he got, he's got, a, he's got apprentices asking questions, and he gets back, he gets back with you right away. If he knows problems, uh, when it comes time for class, he'll note those problems, and we'll discuss those problems in class too. And and with the, with the old way, it's just, they just couldn't do that. It actually maximizes the time in the classroom. It gives the instructor so much more time to work with the apprentice on problems, not, not every problem. One of the things that an instructor can do is when he logs on to his page, he can see that if he has 20 students and all 20 of them miss number nine, he can see that and that's a good lesson plan for him to work on whatever question nine is. It's really give us a lot more time in the classroom. I might be able to shoot my instructor email every once in a while if I have a problem, and if I'm stuck with something, and then probably maybe later on at, at class time, He'll come to me and ask me, you know, I heard you had this problem and this problem. And, you know, you can me and you work it out. And he comes to me with that. And we usually work it out and iron out the, the bad spots. We got a bad transformer. We got to go up there and change that transformer. Okay. You can't get a truck to it. You can do it off a set of hooks. There's one thing you need to be aware of when you're doing this off set of hooks like this your minimum approach distance. Okay. You don't want to encroach on that. Uh, by the OSHA rules, you're not supposed to go with inside that minimum approach distance unless the line's de-energized or you're isolated. Okay. With linemen often living far from comprehensive hands-on training centers like CellCat, it isn't physically possible to spend quality face-to-face -face time with instructors every week. So blended learning is exactly that, blending textbook training with hands-on learning that is so vital to a safe and productive lineman. Michael Callanan, who heads up the NECA IBEW's training effort, says blended learning is already paying off in a big way. The blended learning tool gives our instructors the ability to customize lessons so they can tailor the lesson to meet the specific needs of their apprentices and the AJTC in the area they're working with. And we're pretty excited about that because we can begin to uh, have an opportunity to really meet the needs of our local industry customers. If transmission is really booming as we know it is right now, we're able to focus in and use you know, our time in the transmission skills, distribution, other areas like that. It just gives us a lot more flexibility at the AJTC level. The whole larger implication of the blended learning program, why did you guys invent it? Why did you guys come up with it? And what does it mean to the customer? 
We're going to find that this blended learning uh, transition has been one of the most important decisions the NJTC has made. I'm so happy that the outside uh, industry has led the way for us on this one because it's going to improve the efficiency of the way we train the next generation of line workers. And our outside line industry, as you know, is growing at an incredible pace. This improves our ability to deliver tomorrow's journeyman linemen uh, sooner and better. I feel like that that's, that's the difference between being a union lineman and a non-union lineman. Uh, we have a different approach to things. Uh, we're not only being, you know, learning how to do it, but learning why you do it, the way we do things. Once you've got it macked out, and make sure that the connection you're taking off is not gonna open it up. You understand what I yeah, mean by so opening it up? I understand what you're saying. The NECA IBEW team has been using the hands-on journeyman to apprentice training for generations. It has been incorporating its blended learning curriculum today in the computer age. Through it all, it's one part of our heritage that ties it all together, pride in our work. My lineman, he preached that all the time. He say, from the tiniest thing, bolts and washers, you know, you want them straight up and down. You, you always want to take pride of it. You don't want nothing sloppy because you don't want the next person to have to come in there trying to figure out what you got going on. You want it nice and neat and he won't have no problem. The brotherhood in line at IBEW is so strong. I've been really fortunate uh, on the job training having linemen as 40 years experience, 40 years doing this and, and nothing ever bad to say. And they just keep pushing it down to this younger guys and, and it's just such a tight family. Every year, the NECA IBEW team spends about $18 million in training the best linemen in the industry. And because of it, union market share dominates and is continuing to climb. That'll do it for this edition of Electric TV. To stay in the loop every time we post a new story, either sign up for our opt-in newsletter on this page or follow us on Twitter, at Electric TV. Whether on your computer, tablet, or smartphone, ETV is mobile and accessible anytime, anywhere. Thanks for the click. I'm Dominic Giratano. For everyone here at Electric TV, we'll see you soon.